one where you need to reverse the order of integration. There's a whole bunch down here in question 101. I did one of these in lectures. I think I did C in lectures. I'm actually going to do part B. Now, can anyone, can anyone suggest... Well, let, let's write it down first before I ask some questions. Okay, so we want to evaluate the following integral. Now, why can't I do that integral straight away? Why can't I just do the inside integral and then the outside integral? Why can't I just integrate e to the x squared with respect to x? What's the integral of e to the x squared? The antiderivative. It's not e to the x squared all over 2x. Okay. Well, there is no antiderivative for e to the x squared with respect to x in terms of elementary functions. So you might think, oh, OK, I'll just do the inside integral. Well, what's the antiderivative of e to the x in terms of elementary functions. It doesn't exist. Okay, you can grind it out using some sort of series if you want to, but it's not, that's not an elementary function. But if I could switch the orders of integration and adjust these, then I could easily integrate e to the x squared with respect to y. Okay, what's the, what, what's the antiderivative there? Well, it's y times e to the x squared. Okay, I can do that. That's no worries. So let's try to switch the order of integration around. Now for that, we need to firstly draw a picture. So let's try to work out what our region of integration is. Well, omega is just, all right, well, y is between 0 and 1. And x is between y and 1. So let's draw a little picture and see if we can work out what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to draw in the lines um, uh, y equals 0, y equals 1. So y equals 0 is there. x equals y and x equals 1. So I've got the line y equals x there. Okay, so which triangle is it? Is it the upper triangle or the lower triangle? The lower one. Why? Well, let's draw a horizontal line. The line enters at, 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 at this um, line here, at the line y, and it, uh, x equals y, and it exits at x equals 1. So hang on, I think I've got the... Oh no, that's alright. Yeah. So it's definitely got to be that bottom region. Okay, so now what we want to do is re-describe that region somehow. Well, let's, let's draw the same picture but instead of using a horizontal line, let's use a vertical line. Okay? Now I'm just going to relabel this. Instead of y equals x, uh, x equals y, y equals x, 1 and 1. So here's our region here. So I'm going to use a vertical line. To look at the bounds on the on the for the y values. So we want to re-describe 
my region omega. It's the same region, we're just describing it a different way. So what's the, what's the region going to be? Well, you can see with the vertical line, the vertical line enters at y equals, the line y equals 0, and it leaves the region at the line y equals x. Now to trace out the whole triangle, I need to move between 0 and 1 on the x-axis. So, so what's y going to be between 0 and x? So now, we spent all that time re-describing, drawing pictures, now we can actually use it and put it to work. So, I is just the double integral of this function over omega. Fubini's theorem says that, okay, I can sit, write this as a double integral, either like that, like we had at the start, or using this setup here. So I'm going to use this setup because I, I'm going to reverse the order of integration. Okay, so y is between 0 and x, so that'll, the dy will go next, and then the dx. So now, what I can do is perform the inside integral first. It's going to give me, it's going to give me um, the indefinite integral is going to be y e to the x squared, sub in these. I'll get x e to the x squared, dx. Okay, I I've left out one line there. Now, I can integrate x e to the x squared. What's that going to be? Right, exactly. Just one half e to the x squared. If you want to do it the long way, you can use the substitution y, u equals x squared. Don't do it by so I wouldn't recommend that. So when you plug in x equals 1 and x equals 0, you'll get something like this. Yes. Somebody in cat eye said, more smiley faces, please. So I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> <laughs>